A lot of people ask me how they can get more Amazon products on their PLR blogs and I actually use a WordPress plugin called WP Amaz One and it's a really cool plugin that um, makes it super super easy to get really good looking Amazon posts on there and it's uh, really easy to use which I really like about it so if you're technically challenged you'll really like it and also um, it has some great features that allow you to be able to refine your searches so you get the exact products you want and um, the posts look really good uh, here's, it's, here's one right here it, um, you know, it has the button and everything and it also will pull in these customer reviews which look really cool now you don't get the customer reviews on the PLR blogs because you actually have to have the plugin installed in order to get those and unfortunately the plugins not free but I have been able to get a discount for my blog buyers and if you buy it through the link right below this video you will get um, a discount now when you click on the link you'll get to the sales page where you can learn more about the plugin and the, the price on there is not the price that you'll get you'll get a cheaper price than that when you click the buy button you'll see the price that you get but you know not everyone can afford to buy a plugin so I'm also going to show you how you can make these same exact posts manually for free however if you do buy the plugin I want to show you a couple of things on the settings um, what you want to do is you want to click reviews shown in post only you want to make sure you have that checked because then it won't be pulled onto the home page so the formatting will look good and the other thing is is when you set up your um, your uh, campaign no I'm sorry not your campaign when you set up in the um, Amazon settings you want to set the, this to be 500 characters and if you do those two settings then everything will look just like it does on the PLR blogs um, one thing another couple of features that I wanted to show you that are kind of cool is that you can um, cloak your your affiliate links and you can it also uniquify them so that each post looks totally different than all the other blogs out there that are pulling in these Amazon posts it'll be like unique content for you okay so without further ado I'm going to now show you how to uh, make the Amazon post manually for free so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to log into your Amazon account at associates.amazon.com and this will set your cookie on the machine and the next thing you want to do is just go to amazon.com now you notice when you go here you get this really cool gray bar up at the top and so when you're surfing around on Amazon you can actually get your affiliate links right from this gray bar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a solar panel product because that's what the blog is that I'm adding it to and I'm oh I like this solar charging kit so I'm going to click right in there and once you get inside the product you want to go up to this little thing that says link to this page and click on that and this window comes up now what you want to do is you want to you're going to have to do this in two parts because you don't want this thing the normal Amazon thing because that doesn't look so good in the post so first you're going to get image only and you'll see that it says here right click on this link text and choose save target as to save the product link so right click on it and you want to click save image as or save target as whatever your computer says you want to go to a directory on your computer that you you know can remember and then you just save the image you want to remember that you know it's a weird name you want to remember the weird name of the image because you're going to need this later to paste into your blog then what you have to do is you have to go down to this part down here the fancy pants HTML code and you want to copy that and then you're going to paste it I usually just paste it in a notepad because you're going to need that later to put on your blog okay so that gets the image but now you also need the uh, text link so you're gonna come back to here up to the top here and you're gonna click text only 
and then you're going to copy the code and paste that into your notepad document too. Okay, the next thing is you want to go to your WordPress admin panel on your blog and you're going to add a new post. You're going to title the post. Um, I'll just call it Solar Panel Kit. I forget the exact name of it. And then you're going to click on this thing to bring in the image. You're going to scroll to your hard drive to the directory where it was and select the image. And that what you want to do is, if nothing shows up here, you want to click this file URL because you need to know the URL. No, actually you don't need to know it if you do it this way. Sorry, forget about that. You don't need to copy that. What you want to do is uh, click left. You want it to show up on the left, thumbnail, and insert into post. And now, if you go to the visual mode, you should see the picture in there. So now the next thing is, you want to copy in some of the description from the product. So you want to go back to your Amazon page, and you can get rid of this little blurby thing. And you scroll down to where the product description is, and copy in you know, some of it. Don't copy the whole thing because everything that you copy in here is going to show up um, in the category and on the home page, so you don't want it to be too long. So I think just this much is good. I'm going to copy that and paste it in. Now the final thing is you're going to want to paste in the link so that they can buy it. And there's actually two parts to this because you the fancy buy button is a thing that's particular to my blogs that I put on there. It's not something that comes from Amazon. So you're going to have to pull that in. But lucky for you, since you have one of the PLR blogs, you already have the image up there. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You want to go to the HTML mode over here. And you're going to go to the bottom here. And you're going to go back to your notepad where you copied in the link code. You're going to copy that paste it in. Now comes the tricky part. <sighs> You'll see that this is the link that they click on to buy it. And it's, you know, it, typical link. So right in here is the text of the actual link. And you want to probably put the buy now button right below that. So you're going to put a return right there. This code right here will make it be another line. And then you need to paste in the code that displays the button. And you want to make sure you do it before the end of the, eight of the reference here so that it'll be a clickable link. Now the code that brings in the button, it's going to be right below this video, so you can just copy it. I have it um, right here. This is it right here. It'll be the same on every single blog. And you're going to just paste that right there. And now when you go and you look at it, hopefully it'll be there, but you know, it's a little malformatted. So what you want to do in visual mode is take the two links and center them. I don't know why that doesn't look quite centered, but it's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. You might want to fiddle around with the format. And then we're going to go over to here, we're going to click Publish, and see how that looks on the home page. And there it is, looks pretty good. Oh, that didn't end up being formatted so good, but you might have to fiddle around with that. Um, you know, if you have the WP Robot plugin, they're going to get pil pulled in perfectly every time, just like they are, you know, here on the blog, the way you got it. And let's check, let's go in and look at the post, make sure that looks okay. Yep, so there you have it. So that's how you can do it manually and for free. So good luck, and uh, don't forget if you want to buy WP Robot, my shameless affiliate link is right below this video. And when you buy it, you'll get the special formatting that you can use for the Amazon products, which includes the Buy Now button and the formatting that you see in this post in the videos, which includes formatting that pulls in a thumbnail, 
so that it can be displayed properly on the home page. Thank you.